Why not? Why did the... Hello? Excuse me. Hey everybody, I'm the Maple Man. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to part 97 of my 26th generation Sims 4 gameplay challenge. Finally, I guess we've been really just focusing on this fifth generation. Three boys with three very different lifestyles. <laughs> we've got the adventurous one, the nature garden dog lover one, and the villainous Valentine, the flirty romantic one <laughs> who is just going to break up a lot of people and break a lot of hearts. And um, we are going to continue with these three characters and see where they go. We also have cousin Jamie living with us. His girlfriend moved in. And of course, Isamu and Margarita are still part of the family, but kind of going to take a step away from them, let them enjoy their midlife and focus on the boys in their life. So I think that's enough said for me. If you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to say, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I do read comments and when I can, I definitely try to reply. So that's enough for me. Peace and love everybody. Let's play. So it is Monday morning, 8.42 a.m. I wanna work on some aspirations for our folks in the last part. Um, we did work on that as well and we left Haiku, not Haiku, we left Owen at the bar flirting with all of his new friends and dancing and slow dancing with a ghost. All those fun things. And right now, we didn't do much with Haiku and I, I'm not gonna be doing much with Haiku in this part either, I think. Um, his stuff I want to do later, but I did get his handiness to level two and he can do some upgrades. And the whole reason I want him to do some upgrades on some of the appliances and stuff is because I want Margarita to try mentoring him because she's level 10 of the handiness skills. So let's try to upgrade this new bathtub with sturdy faucets and we'll see if Margarita, I'm gonna get her, she's doing fine, to go here and uh, See if she can mentor him while he's doing this. Mentor, mentor, okay, okay. Mentor your child three times. Okay, can you do it again? <laughs> no, doesn't look like it. Okay, there's a slight difference between mentoring and nagging. Okay, so this is gonna work. She has to mentor her child three times. We've got it once now. Have a child complete an aspiration. Oh my God. And have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career. I don't know if we're going to get her um, aspiration done, but we'll certainly give it a shot because she is, you know, one of the main characters we're playing. What we're going to do now is, Estevan, you are a little hungry. Let's get some food and then we're uh, going to go out. We're just going to have you have a quick snack. Ooh, flinging fixes. Haiku was born to wield a hammer. Should he finally embrace that he likes handiness? Yeah, for sure. Okay, why is everyone up here? I guess they're all like cheering Haiku on for doing, you know, some upgrades. Oh, let's see if we can do another one. Upgrade, do uh, sturdy faucets here, and then uh, your mom can help you, and then we'll take Estevan out, because I want him to get um, his three hours of snowboarding in. <laughs> oh, Margarita, mentor. Okay, well, at least we'll get the mentoring down. There we go. Mentor your child three times. Have you finished your cereal? You have. Let's go. Okay, so we're back at Mount Komarebi. We have to actively ski, snowboard, or rock climb for three hours. It doesn't say it all had to be in one shot, so hopefully he banked some uh, snowboarding hours the last time we were there. Where are you going? Throw away something. Oh, he's throwing away some garbage. Okay, there we go. Let's go to the top. Go snowboarding on the easy slope continuously. Um, let's just do medium intensity. Because he has done it a bit. Hopefully his skill is up enough. I want to know, what is this goofy stance? And I'll probably zip ahead of this part till he get, either gets his aspiration or we give up again. Oh, there we go. Okay, well he reached level two of the snowboarding skills, so that's good. And we got him doing it continuously, so I will, like I said, zip ahead, because this, <laughs> he fell down. I want him to get his three hours. <laughs> oh, 
We got it. We got it. I was about to give up. We got it. We got the three hours. I'm just going to pause it. Poor that's what we've been here all day. <laughs> he is tired. He is sore. He is not happy. Oh, but he's shredding the gnar <laughs> from having a perfect snowboarding run. That was so wicked cool. Esteban just had a perfect snowboarding run and feeling the rush from good snowboarding performance. Okay, so he has zipped ahead. So he has to perform a high intensity skiing or snowboarding on an intermediate or expert slope successfully reached the peak of Mount Komorebi and endure an injury sustained from skiing, snowboarding, or rock climbing. That's a goal? It's a goal I could achieve. Uh, go skiing, snowboarding, rock climbing until an injury is received. Attempting high intensity slope runs or difficult actions is more likely to result in an injury. Did we not get an injury? Oh no, we just have sore feet. Okay. Um, I'm so happy with this. I wanted to do more with Estevan, like, today, but we wasted the whole day here. That was more than three hours, but you did it, bud. I'm so happy. Uh, let's go home. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the house. I just want to check the gardening stuff, stuff check on everybody here. Um, yeah, I want Isamu. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, he's cooking. Okay, where are you? Okay, you're grilling up something. Oh my God, you just keep leaving the food outside though. Haiku, if you're not doing anything here, put that away. Uh, so there's food for everybody. Estevan, come home. Everybody else seems to be in the green, a little tired. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to bed. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were that tired. People are hungry, but they're eating. Okay, I think we're good. Already in the first few minutes of this part, we have got some aspiration steps done. I'm so happy. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play ahead till tomorrow and we'll continue with Esteban. I want him to do something else, but obviously he's in such a bad state. I think he's just going to bed. Why are you going to your mom and dad's bed? Go to your own bed. Oh, well, whatever, whatever. Oh, he, he was thinking of a ghost. Okay, he had a bad dream. He's a young adult, but I guess he's a little wimpy today. He's like, I'm tired, I'm sore. I'm sleeping in mom and dad's bed. Fine, fair enough. We'll do some gardening with Isamu behind the scenes. Oh, look at these two. Look at these two. They're spending quality time together. Oh, are you gonna say something nice? Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to zip ahead till tomorrow and um, we'll continue with Esteban. So it is the next day. Everybody's getting an early start to the day. And <laughs> I, I should have put the aging back on in the last part. So one of my rules is when the first uh, child uh, of each generation reaches a young adult, I stop the timing and I age up the other kids um, uh, in the certain number of days they have left, if that makes sense, so that they all become young adults around the same time. And we all have a, a decent chance at picking which one will move the next generation along, which I have ideas on. Uh, the one thing that isn't aging, though, is our cow plant. It seems like forever our cow plant has turned into this cow plantling, but not a full cow plant. So um, I don't think the aging would affect a cow plant growing, but who knows? So anyway, gonna press play. Just wanted to show you the cow plant to show that, you know, I, it's still alive. It should be growing. <laughs> but right now, like I said, we're gonna follow Esteban. He finally finished his tofu dog that he's been eating for three hours. Now, instead of going to Mount, Mount Komorebi, he's gonna hang out with that girl that I think is really cool and really suits him. So we're gonna go somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna pick a place and go. Okay, so we are at Van Haunt Estates. You know, he's uh, Esteban's our active snowboarding sim and everything, but I thought, let's give him some culture. Oh, it's a little rainy here, and he should definitely invite that girl. I can't remember her name right now. Can't ask anybody out on a date, so he's not close enough with her yet. It was, it wasn't Wiki, it wasn't Yuna. Yua, Yua, because there's the friendship. Okay, let's invite Yua. My computer's very slow right now. I'm not sure why. We'll see how the gameplay goes. If I have to shut down and start again, I'll do it. Okay, what is he doing? Okay, oh, she's gonna be right over. Yua, where are you? 
Okay, um, I don't know why Margarita and Isamu are here, but that's fine. Margarita, are you okay? You're uncomfortable, headachey from illness. Oh, that's too bad. Everybody just came here as well. Okay, where is, where are you going? Chat with Utaka. Who's Utaka? You invited Yua over. Oh well, whatever. Where the heck are you going? You're going into the hedge maze. Okay. Whoa. Oh, yeah. so. What are you who are you talking to? Okay, let's um <laughs> Oh my god, did you a take off? Because you ran all the way up here to talk to somebody who's invisible? Okay, I had to change venues because it kept saying that Yua was uh, coming over to Von Haunt Estates, but she never did. So, um, let's tell a joke about monkeys. Okay, so they are cloud gazing. I think she looks so cool, especially in this outfit. Oh, Mercedes is here. Cool. So, I want to get the friendship up because I think she would be a good match for him. I think they're both active. Yeah, no, she's right. neat, but I'm pretty sure she's active. Let's get to know her a bit more. Yeah, Tell a funny so. story. You know, we can get a copy here too if we want, but talk about yeah, new adventure. So. Oh, that's Thanks something trip. new. Boy, huh? There you go. Okay, I'm loading these things up because I really want him to get to know her and, you know, I think we'll throw in a flirt at some point, but he's not his brother Owen, you know, has to be a snow bro. <laughs> Let's do that. I want to get to get to know, but I keep seeing all these cool things he can ask. Show off your muscles. Oh yeah, he's like, we should go rock climbing some time. Since he has to, you know. Um, oh, she's non-committal. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, let's see if let's see if he can throw a little flirt in because I love the romantic stuff. But just a little flirt, nothing too much. He may compliment her appearance. Like, let's see if uh, see if there's something there. I really don't like that she's non-committal, but you know. Well, it could be a different relationship for them. Yeah. Oh, sentiment gain. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me oh. smile. Oh, we didn't get the flirt in. That's okay. Um, let's. Um, I'd rather he compliment her appearance anyway, because I probably would, because she looks pretty cool. <laughs> I think. Oh, yay. It's a pleasant conversation. Should they get a coffee together? Let's um, let's share energetic tips, and then uh, maybe then get a coffee together. Ooh, order a drink. Uh, for here. Mm, let's get an espresso. I guess he can't order for her. Okay, well, he's gonna go get an espresso. And then I just I like her too much. He's got to start like flirting with her and maybe going on a date. Because I, I just think they'd be so cute together. I really, really do. Um, now I think you can give her a flirt. Hopefully that goes over okay. Okay, I'm looking at the back of your heads. You're flirting with her what? Through a mirror? Oh, she liked it. She liked it. Oh, you have to run to the washroom. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Go, go to the washroom. Didn't... Wasn't keeping an eye on his needs, so that was on me. Oof, this is so glitchy for some reason. Okay, go to the washroom, Estevan. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, stop chatting with her. Okay, you're walking through the counter. Oh my god, don't tell me this is going to be the end of my 26 Generations game. Here. All because Estevan's stuck in a table. Oh my god, he's stuck. He's showing her a magic trick. Come on. <laughs> okay, well, he's about to wet himself, but I think it went really well with her. I think what we'll do is we will uh, head back home, have him come home because this is, this is, this is weird. <laughs> but at least we made some headway with 
You uh, I love it. Um, but now he's stuck in a table. Okay, let's check in at home. Okay, so we are back at home. Uh, I'm just gonna see. Please just come back, come back. Still don't be stuck in that thing. <laughs> All right, you're home. It's sunnier here. Maybe we should have just invited your friend to come over. Maybe we'll do that like right now. Even though, oh, you just want to work out. Okay, he wants to do the hill challenge. We'll let him do that. We did enough with Esteban. I wanted his uh, friendship to get a little bit better with her. Maybe he can just send her some texts. Uh, send a text to, uh, where is she? Why can't you send her a text? Oh, I guess we need to scroll down. There you go, the friendship bar went up, which is good. Um, why are you in the orange, buddy? What, if you need to use the washroom, don't grill. We have tons of food, I don't need you to grill anymore. Okay, so my game is feeling very glitchy right now. So um, I'm going to um, probably zip ahead a little bit. Oh, he slimmed right down. I had him do a couple of endurance runs. Look, he's so slim. Yeah, okay, use the washroom. Okay, so I'm gonna zip ahead. I'm gonna figure out what we're doing next. Yeah, people are just standing around doing nothing. You were going to do the hill challenge. All right, all right then. Yeah, yeah, everybody's just messed up. Oh well, we've all been there with this game, it happens. We got so much on the lot, we got so much going on that it doesn't surprise me. I will zip ahead. So, it, it's still Tuesday, it's not that late, so I decided we are gonna play Owen for a little bit, and he invited Arihi, I think that's her name, Arihi, to the Stargazer Lounge. They are gonna have a romantic time. She is one oh. of his romantic interests. Yes. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a few things, maybe go swimming. You know, but he's gonna throw on the charm. I think they should go swim because they have that beach life. Oh, it's raining, which is kind of cute. Let's swim here together. And of course, you know, him being a villainous Valentine, we want to make sure that, you know, he starts, you know, making connections. Why aren't you coming? Oh, she's coming, okay. Okay, they don't wanna swim because it's raining, I guess. <laughs> Give her a heartfelt compliment. Is she gonna stay in the water? Compliment her swimsuit, why not? Oh, ask about her day. Oh, she's thinking about him. Oh, let's get the romance up, 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 up. Get to know her. Do we know anything about her? Oh yeah, she's non-committal. Perfect for him. Perfect, discuss interests. Oh, they're gonna get a little romantic. Oh, she's already flirty and it's a suggestive conversation. Owen does have the charm. Wow, she is pretty. Um. Flirt. We want it to be romantic. Romantic, romantic, romantic. Don't share your insecurities. Give her a bold, bold pickup line. I'm not sure where she's going. Oh, that look is kind of frightening. And he switched it right away. Oh, wow. Okay. That was kind of a scary look. Oh. Why not? Why not? Why did the... Hello? Excuse me. Wow. He was just... Pushed out of the way, really? What? Go away! Oh. <laughs> okay, that's really odd. Let's uh, let's uh, go here together. Oh, the hearts went up again. Okay, let's go here together. Try to get rid of this guy who. That was really rude. Oh, he's talking about himself. He's like, "Hey, I'm so much better than Owen." Owen, don't put up for that. Oh, they're both talking to. Her. <gasps> Why is it awkward? Okay, you know what? Oh, and you have other choices. Let's go do something. Let's travel with someone else. Okay, who's next on the list? H has the most romance. Uh, Kazuki has the more friendship. And that's it. Okay, H, you're a winner. Let's go. Yeah, Draz Boompa. Friends to Bay. All right. Um... Oh, I think the romance is high enough for an embrace. It's, you know, simple, straightforward. Maybe kiss his hand. Oh, they don't like each other. Okay, come on. I do not need their friendships and the romance going down. Oh, it's a pleasant conversation now, though. Oh, yeah, okay, it's pleasant. Ooh, offer him a rose. Tell an unbelievable story because you're confident. Ask about his day. 
There you go. There you go. Oh, whisper seductively. Oh, yeah. Oh, first kiss. Sure. We'll do some of the friendly stuff first, but we need him to have like a serious romance here. Oh, everyone's like paranoid about something. Oh, run inside. Okay, okay. Go here together then. Okay, compliment is outfit. We're still in our bathing suit. Give him a heartfelt compliment. Okay, she's not going to like this, but um, yeah, for some reason, his first date tagged along to his second date. Not good. You know, go do your own thing. We're not talking to you. We don't want you to be part of this conversation. Good. She's just not interested. Oh, Owen learned the following traits. We learned all three traits. Family oriented, bookworm and outgoing. Oh, well, it's not going to be... Mm. I preferred him flirting with somebody who was non-committal or whatever. He's single. Okay, that's that's good. Well, it's good in a way, but we were supposed to, um, we are supposed to break couples with this villainous Valentine. Don't go anywhere. Don't let him leave. <laughs> oh yes, give him thumbs up. Okay, just romance now. Just romance. Just hit the flirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he blew Owen a kiss. Okay, this is going much better. Much better. Okay, they had their first kiss. Is he going to say yes to being his boyfriend? He's like, uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. You got your first partner. Woohoo, an observatory, which is always fun. Seal the deal. All right. So, I normally don't like to, um, I like to give them their privacy, but you know what? Lighthouse and observatory type woo is kind of fun to watch. And it's been a while since anybody's wooed in a observatory. And like I said, I don't think Owen is a true villain. I think it's going to be unintentional, you know, but it'll just, you know, happen. He just has way too much love to give. So... H is the, his first. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we need to get out of this thunderstorm before any of us get struck by lightning. That would be good. All right, there goes the observatory. Oh, lots of hearts coming off of it. Oh my God, look at his flirty face down here. Oh, and they're exhausted and flirty. Okay, we gotta send you all home, it's 11.30. Okay, ha say goodnight. There you go. So, this guy has been non-stop flirty all day. I played ahead of day, just took care of everybody's needs. Um, we have a couple people at work. Isamu, and I can never remember her name. Eliana. Jeez, I should know that by now. She's part of the family. <laughs> but I thought, you know, uh, Owen, he got his boyfriend in the last part. He has other love interests. And, you know, I thought... This guy's going to have a bit of a house party. He's going to invite some people over. And yeah, we're going to plan a social event. And the party might get a little wild. We'll see how it goes. Because he's just super flirty. Okay, keg party, toddler play date, birthday party, black and white bash mountain climb excursion, spooky party, incognito costume party, um, dinner party, dance party, house party. Let's just do a house party. Okay. Be the talk of the town. Make your neighbors jealous with your catered spread and awesome drinks. Maybe you invite a few of them. Isma will make food for everybody when he's home. Let's, uh, you are the host, Owen. Yeah, you're having a party, but you haven't really told your parents, so. <laughs> okay, we have the household. Um, Rico? Sure. Um, oh, the, it looks like they can have a romance bar now. Maybe Rico's a young adult. Um... Sylvia, Salma, no relatives, it's just friends, Arush, Arihi, H, Ugh. Myra hates him, so he's not going to invite Myra, Tetsu, and Kazuya, yeah, so we're going to have some uh, people who have some romance with them, invited to the party, it's good. it might be a little bit of mayhem, and it's happening right now, so let's go and greet our guests, hopefully they all make it, oh, everybody's getting into their party wear, which is cool. All right, we've got, that looks like his boyfriend, H. No, that's Arush. Okay, 
a rush is here. Oh my god, that is your party wear? Oh, Estevan. Oh no, oh no. That's not good. Okay, is anybody else here? Why did only one person show up? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's that girl he tried to have a romance with, but a little while ago it wasn't working so well. Why did he invite her? Okay, so we got two guests. Um, what is going on here, Margarita? <laughs> we have a gas leak. Oh my god, uh, I think we should just replace it. No, don't cook on that. Oh, okay, we replaced it just in time. Why are you cooking? Are you hungry? You're a little hungry. Uh, hopefully you're making enough for your guests. It just looks like mac and cheese, but at least it's something. Okay, are maybe people at work? Okay, this is kind of a lame party. Oh, oh, there's another guest. Is this, uh, who is this? Rico, Rico, Rico is still a teen. Okay, that's fine. Why are you leaving? Oh, he did make food for everybody. Awesome, okay, well, let's, uh, let's uh, tell a joke about penguins. Let's be a bit of the life of the party. A rush, oh, you're a teen, thank him for coming. There's, there's no real goals for this house party, which is good. Um, discuss interests with her, and then you've been romantic all day, so let's just start flirting with people. It's your house party. You can do whatever you want. Okay, okay. Oh, this guy's in the conversation too, Kazuya. I don't know where he went. Okay, so not all the guests came over, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, we'll just play it out. Hi, hi, Kazuya. Let's um, let's kiss his hands in front of everybody. <laughs> Why not? Oh, it's just like I am who I am. And this is how I greet people. Mwah. the same charm. Okay. He's chatting with his guests. Ah, oh, it's such a shame. Not everybody came over. Oh, wait. There's more people outside. Or are they just walking by? Just looks like they're walking by. Who's this? He's a guest. Uh, who is it? Tetsu. Okay, he's a teen. Okay, another guest showed up. Salma. Okay. One of the things as... A villainous Valentine is he has to break up couples. And who's this? Oh, that's H. His boyfriend's here. Okay. I think... Where's Ileana? There she is. I think Owen should um, make a joke about marriage. <laughs> oh, oh, people are not necessarily liking that he's flirting with everybody. Oh. Okay, give Ileana a heartfelt compliment. Oh, what is wrong with Eliana? She no, is playful, though. Hey, okay. She likes her party wear. I don't blame her. But, you know, let's... Uh -huh. Let's see if he can. So Maybe just give her a pickup uh, line. You know, it's BG. Owen. It's just the way he is. Please. Oh, he's flirting with Eliana. Oh, oh, she did not oh, like it. Oh, oh uh, Jamie is mad. <laughs> and the drama begins <laughs> all right let's apologize didn't quite work and then do another pickup line <laughs> yeah i didn't mean it like that it was only a joke come on guys you know he's pretty open about you know i just flirt with everybody whether you like it or not <laughs> all right owen you know what the only person who didn't see you uh <laughs> See you be a, a goof and flirt with everybody was uh, your boyfriend. So let's see if you can woohoo and just sort of ruin the party. <laughs> okay, she's hating him. Oh no, oh no. Kind of a disaster. Well, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, see you later. I'm going to woohoo. You'll try woohooing with H at your party because that's what you do. H doesn't hate him, does he? No, no, H didn't see a thing. All right, well, you know, party was kind of lame. No one wanted to flirt with you except, you know, H. So let's just do that. And I don't think we're going to get any of his villainous Valentine things about getting caught cheating, achieving X status with other sims, or breaking up couples. I think, actually, achieving X status with other sims, maybe he'll just break up with uh, H right at the party. And yeah, Jamie is mad. Flirty spouse. Well, she wasn't flirting. It was 
Owen flirted with her. <laughs> and I'm sure it was all just a misunderstanding. All right, party was okay. Oh no, what's going on over here? They're all just watching TV. <laughs> Jamie is very angry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, mom, get out of there. Can I use the washroom? Now he's embarrassed. Performing poorly. He performed poor woohoo. He's embarrassed. Oh no. Well, we can't have people like die of embarrassment or anything. Not the goal of the story. <laughs> All right, where is H? Did H leave? Oh, the party's over. That's why. Okay, so now let's see if we can just um, uh, chat with uh, H. Okay. So he's gonna have like a deep conversation with H. I think, what time is it, it's 10.15? Maybe you can quickly invite H back over. <laughs> you know, they voodooed a couple times. He had a house party, didn't go so well. And um, I think it's put in Jamie's brain exactly what's gonna be happening here. Oh, he's so embarrassed. He's like, oh no, I just ruined the party. It did not go anywhere that I wanted it to. Okay, so H is over. So let's, do we have a bench here that we can just sit somewhere? Maybe we'll go over to the park. There's a, oh, there's a bench right here, here. Oh, he's romantic though. Okay, okay. Well, you know, one last kiss. Give him one last passionate kiss. And then, you know, this is, you know, a nice goodbye. I'm sure it'll go well. And let's uh, break up. <laughs> oh, he's talking about music. He's like, I'd really like to go to a concert with you. And Owen's like, you know, let's let's just cool it down. Oh my God, that looked horrible. That was not exactly sensitive. It's just sort of like, yeah, see ya. <laughs> Owen just broke up with H. Okay, so he achieved X status with one sim. Okay, you can go home now. Um, send home. <laughs> okay, I'm going to zip ahead till tomorrow morning, and we're going to do a couple of changes. Then I think that'll be it for this part. So, let's get everyone to sleep and zip ahead just a little bit. Okay, so everybody's awake. Owen is sad from breaking up, even though he's a villainous valentine. Um, he was a disaster at the party last night. He was stupid. So... You know, this is going to seem a little unforgiving, but we're going to take care of a couple of things here. Jamie's had it. He is furious, or he was furious last night, um, and because Owen was hitting on Eliana, his, his you know, fiancé. So I think it's time that Jamie and Eliana move out on their own. They're going to have to, like, reconcile and figure things out and, you know, um, try to make it work. So we're going to move Jamie and Eliana out right now there you know jamie's just so mad um that there's no use talking to him he's just ready to go ready to leave so yeah he's looking up real estate right now on the computer so decided you know i could move them out of the world but i do kind of want to see them once in a while so i thought you know what in the heat of the moment jamie says to eliana you know what we're moving out of my aunt and uncles we're moving back in with my mom and my brother and that's what they're gonna do so and we will oh they have no money how do they have no money? Okay, I guess we must have taken it <laughs> when uh, when Jamie moved in with our family. So we'll give them 10000 5000 each to start off, and they can go back living with Mercedes. <laughs> Bye, Jamie and Eliana. Sorry it didn't work out, but, you know, it happens. <laughs> Ismu seems okay with everything. Ismu is going to go and have... A deep conversation with his son Owen because Owen you were kind of a disaster last night you were not thinking of other people's feelings and that's just not right so you're gonna have uh, give him a hug first say you know it's okay things are fine and then have a deep conversation with them because you just got to explain it's not right and he's flirty again he's just always flirty Okay, it's okay, son. You know, that's fine. Oh, Ismu's reached level five of the parenting skill. That's good. Ismu's so big. 
Oh, he's thinking, you know, I, 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 maybe I should move out. And Isamu's probably saying, you know what, that might not be a bad idea. Go out, go on your own, start figuring out life. And that's where we're going to go with this, because I like Owen's villainous Valentine aspiration, but it really does not go with this gameplay. <laughs> it's just going to ruin things. He's going to go take a bath. Okay, Owen, you go take a bath, do what you have to do. The conversation ended well, you know. Ismu's not saying, not kicking him out, but, you know, sort of guiding him to, you know, you have a very different lifestyle and you need to go and explore that and you can't do it while living at home. So we are going to move Owen out. I'm not sure where. I might move him out, not in this world, um, but we'll see. Okay, Owen, take your bath, but it's time to go. Okay, so we're going to create a new household currently not in world. That's fine for now. Owen's going to move out. We'll give him $5,000 to start his life. So you go over there, you go over there. And, you know, didn't end on a bad note, but it's time for Owen to move on. And it, it goes without saying that Owen is not the not the child in this generation that we're going to progress the family with. But I think we kind of knew that when we saw his aspirations. So we've moved out three characters in this part because I think that story arch kind of ended. If we want to do Jamie and Eliana's wedding down the line, we can always do that. If we want to come back to Owen, we can always do that. We tend to visit characters now and then, but we're down to, in the main family, Isamu, Margarita, and the two boys, Estevan and Haiku. All right, so we're back at the house. Is Owen still here? He was taking a bath. He is, they'll probably tell him it's inappropriate because he doesn't actually live there anymore, but we'll let him take his bath, have our last look at him. So to sum up kind of where we're going and what we've done, to continue the family on, it's either going to be Estevan, our athletic adventurous sim, or Haiku, our, you know, kind of nice gardener, you know, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so here's where I'm going to end this part. Thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Till the next time. Oh, Owen's gone. Owen's gone.